Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today, quick unboxing video. This is Arcadia Quest Riders by Simon Games. This has just arrived this morning. Kickstarted, even though it was supposed to go to retail, right? It's a bit weird. Box is a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Did it, have I just forgotten what's in here? Because this is huge. I have to fit it on sideways to fit it on the camera. I can't get my camera far enough away to get a good shot in. But let's see what we got. Uh, I got a knife for once. I was semi-prepared then through the magic of editing we are back let's just move this back a little bit oh still not in it though like the never never ending box right here we go so we've got a little packet got some paper got some more paper Oh, some more paper. This is pretty well packaged. Lots of padding, a bit of polystyrene around that. So we've got the main rider's box as well. So that must be one of the things you got for kickstarting it. And that is it. That is all that is in there. So let's zoom in a bit closer to these. And here we go. We are back. So Arcadia Quest Riders, the main game box. <sighs> to be anticipated lovely lovely art love the um chibi style in the art usual back tells you all the contents and a bit of fluff if anyone's interested and as always this is not a toy but sophie is downstairs waiting for me to have finished unboxing this so she can look at my not toys so <laughs> as soon as i've done this she'll be dancing some of these mounts around our kitchen but certain. Let's move that out of the way for now. The exclusives. Let's have a look at what is exactly in this rider's box. And now I'm surrounded with rubbish as I've been unboxing this. Whoa. Okay, so you get the rules. I, I whoa because it was really heavy. It was a lot, lot thicker than I was expecting. I guess it's because it's a full expansion, isn't it? Do forget, I just think it's like a little add on with some. Uh, little mounts but it's going to explain the rules for the mounts it's going to ex explain how to expand the decks and how to play the scenarios which the scenario map goes all over in this case and then there's there's going to be all the all the scenarios so you can play a full game can't you with the mounts i can't remember somebody let me know in the comments below can you I presume you can play the inferno and the original arcadia with mounts it must explain the the rules for mixing that in i'm sure it, i'm sure it does if i recall correctly but then there's a brief rule summary on the back as normal which is really helpful in arcadia quest i find i can play pretty much all the game from that then you get the usual campaign sheets a lot of those i've never even come close i don't actually get time to play games so i've only ever used a handful of those maybe three games of arcadia quest so these are the mounts sort of dashboards one for each guild so four of those as you'd expect some tiles so it must use the tiles from the previous games because you only get three tiles there but that fits in normally, so it's like the Inferno style, maybe not Inferno style, I can't quite remember. What else? You get the, the usual quests, so there'll be some PvE and PvP, I expect. Quite a few of those. Well, as I mentioned, it's full expansion. Then the the, the cards, so these are the, the minions, the monsters, uh, and I bet these are the hero cards here, because there's some extra heroes in this. And then you get some item cards, loads of item cards, rewards, um, probably some, some mount items in there as well. I won't open all those, just the usual cards. This is it. So the next bit is on to the models. I'll show it really quickly here, but at the end I'll add the spin again. So if you want to check them out in a bit more detail, but you can have a quick overview of how they come out of the box, how they look how they're set out so here we go. see this is why i'm going to spin it look at that reflection so you get two heroes six minions a big monster boss thing and six mounts which one's the, my favorite is this bork bork i think i just like the name look at this little fella now well, that's that's nice this is it's quite like detailed little fiddly strings hanging off but they're thick enough they won't break and they're flexible enough they won't break that's pretty nice. Needs a bit of cleaning up, maybe. I think paint will cover that. You won't see anything. Mold lines are non-existent. I've just not found them yet. 
Even the gaps I'm like happy with. That's quite cool. I mean, it's only one. I'll spin them all at the end. We'll, we'll have a look at all of those. Some decent views. I don't know. Um, this is the Mount Pack one and the Frost Dice. So this is what you got for backing the Kickstarter. So these are Kickstarter exclusive. Presumably the, the expansion is actually going to come out at retail, but you will not be able to get these, I don't think. So these are the Frost Dice. Let's have a handful of these, or all of them. See if you can see these. Oh, they're, they're really nice, actually. I'm just trying to look past my camera to see what they're like in real life. Yeah, they're nice. They're like a marble effect, I'd say. They're pretty, the white's slightly less impressive, but it's still there. It's just you can see the, the changes in the gray, whereas the white's just like slightly different variants of white. That's probably impossible for you to see on camera. Just dropped one, gone forever. But they were Kickstarter exclusives. And then you got two extra mounts. So you got Stone Beak, looks a bit like Bork Bork, <laughs> and Phantom, which is like some sort of wolf. It's chicken. Wolf, good guess, right? See, so they're they're clear enough that you can kind of tell what they're supposed to be, and then it tells you a little bit about them both and what you require. Ah, so it, kept, it requires either of those and that. So they do play together. It's okay, and that's it, guys. That is all you get. I'll give them all a spin now. Thank you very much for watching. And we're back with the spins. We're going to start off with Luda. This is the first mount that's available, and this is highly resemblant of that dog in the never ending story somebody in the comments please remind me of its name i've been trying to remember i keep thinking it's like falker oh, i don't know somebody remind me then this is tyan long don't know what that's supposed to be are they all supposed to be something i'm not quite sure what that should be but these sculpts are fantastic i love that's got six legs how unique is that one uh bork bork i think this is my favorite i just love the name but that reminds me of a chocobo from final fantasy the series, I can't remember how many they're in. I only really played seven and eight. I think they're both in that. So they're probably in them all, right? Somebody will know that as well. This is Becca. Uh, what's that, like an owl, I guess. But that's another, another nice one. I like the bird ones because they've got these tiny, tiny little legs that are supposed to keep them up. So they all have this like tail feather that hangs down and holds them all together. Then we've got Hornsteady. He's like a rhino. He looks like a beast. All of these look quite difficult to paint, I think, with them all being chibis. Like there's a lot of large sort of flat surfaces to get the highlight in. It's going to be tricky. Uh, and last but not least of this set is Toshi. I think he he's a pretty adorable one, isn't he? What's he supposed to be? Some sort of like cow? Some sort of mule thing? I mean, well, he looks like a pack mule, doesn't he? With the amount of things that he's carrying upon his person. And then we're on to the, the like baddies in here. This is the, the villain um, from it. This is Mal Malhor. Malhor. Don't know how you pronounce that, but he's pretty huge. So quite an impressively large sculpt. He looks a little bit more detailed and a little bit easier to paint. Then you've got the two heroes. That's Gaston and Colette. They're both panda-based ones. And the minions are both jackals. Now, uh, last but not least, I'll show you the two exclusives that's the um what's he called what was that stonehawk i think it was stonebeak stonebeak beg your pardon um you'll have to let me know in the comments below which you would like to see first painted probably start with a mount it seems like something we should do this is phantom that wolf that i mentioned before so yeah do let me know in the comments below who you would like to see painted first thank you very much for watching and i'm looking forward to playing this game let me know if you've got this game in the comments below see you again soon Thank you